Today, I invite you to experience Sudor Taino's vibe. Its unique motivation and approach to fitness will bring out the warrior in you. Today, be grateful for the body that you are in and commit to moving it. I invite you today to feel it. Let's go. Hey tribe and welcome to the Sudor Taino Show. Today we'll be doing the basics along with my special guest Jenny. What you will need for the end, you're going to need a mat and possibly something if your back might hurt. Again, this is the basics so we're going to take it step by step. You'll need your water and your towel and we'll be ready to go. All right, we're ready to get started with our special guest, Jenny. So she's happy to be on the show and she has actually volunteered to be my guest to show you the basics. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a slight run. Inhaling and exhaling, using the arms, chest is up, always leading with the heart. Up, nice. Four more, here we go. Three, two. We're gonna bring it to high knees right here. High knees, high knees, high knees, and that is trying to take it to the belly button. That's your marker. Fast or slow, belly button's the marker. Come on, I'm gonna go at her pace. I'm still lifting those knees. Whoop. Yep. Back to basic run, here we go. Yes, use the arms. Again, chest is straight. Perfect. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale and exhale. Nice and long. Not like you're having a baby. Those of you that know how to do that. It's more of elongated breath. Whoop. Come on. Inhale and exhale for four, three, two, one. You're taking the knees back up. Chest is up, so from the side it looks like so. You got it, come on. Up. She's gonna smile through this whole thing, I think. Come on. Nice and warm, jumping jacks. Up, 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 all the way up. See, she has to commit to the actual jack. Get those hands together at the top, come on. You got it. There we go, yes. For those of you that can't make it all the way up, a half jack starts here. Come on, with me. Let's go. So out, out, basic. While she does that one, I can show you how to walk it as well. Same thing. Good. Now straighten the arms. We're going right from here. Now, same thing, out and in. Out, if you can't get the arms all the way up, make sure they're committed to the right to the center. Four more, three more, two more, full jack. Here we go, all the way. Nice job. And she's slapping it too. Come on, let's go. You got it. Beautiful. She has no idea what I'm gonna do, but they're taking it all the way from all the exercises from the basic route all the way over just for you for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go right into a squat. So feet, to her toes like so, right? Shoulder width apart, give me a little bit more. There you go. And you're gonna sit back like you're sitting on a toilet. I'm gonna turn her sideways so that you can see exactly what she's doing. Like if a string is holding her from the center, she's gonna take the arm straight out and sit her butt back like she's sitting on a toilet. Let's go. Inhale, exhale. Up, a little deeper, go. Commit to it now, you got it. You got the form, commit to it. Boom, up, up. Got it. Stay with it. Almost there. Come on. You got it. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Come on. Now you're going to hold it down. Make sure that that butt is sitting back. That back is nice and flat. Stick the butt out. Perfect. Now you're going to bounce right from there. Bounce, bounce, 
bounce. Inhale, exhale. You're tightening that belly button to the spine. Perfect. Four, three, two, hold it. Hold. Sit that butt lower. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, break. Nice job. She's got it. Right. So we're going to go right from the side. We're going to show you a lunge. That right foot goes back, chest goes up, hands on the waist, chest is up. You're going to take that knee, right knee, drive it straight down to the floor. You're not going forward, you're going back. That heel is up in the back, so right here, heel is up in the back. The more room you have, the better it is. Good. Now you're going to go straight down. Go straight down. Beautiful. Keep that heel up. Inhale and exhale. Chest is up. Come on, commit to it. That's how you know you're committed. Chest is up, you're inhaling and exhaling. She's got it. And again, I want you to remember, she is a beginner. And when a beginner commits to it, this is what happens. Inhale and exhale, take it up. Commit on the way up. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the butt cheek. Inhale, exhale, squeeze it up. For four, you only got four more, come on. And three. I know it gets kind of wobbly. Two. Last one. You're going to hold it down. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, break. Nice job. See what she can do. Other side. We're going to turn it this way. And again, take that other foot back. Is that the right one for you? Yeah. Keep that heel up. Chest is up and you're gonna to commit to it as you take the knee, drive the knee to the floor. Even if you can't make it all the way, you can also use a chair, which I will get. You keep going. You're gonna inhale and exhale. So the lunge is same. You keep that heel up in the back, don't put that heel down. That heel stays up, so even if you have a chair, you can take it down and up, but that heel stays up in the back. Let's go, you got 10 more. 10, nine, eight seven six we got to make sure you're not leaning forward you're taking that knee straight down push that foot further back you got four more stay with it you can't push back on me you're going straight down good three two hold it down eight seven six five four three two shake it out nice job beautiful all right, we're going to go right in to lower body squat. So you're going to stay here. Feet are shoulder width apart. Chest is back. This time you're going to turn your toes out. Turn your toes out. Staying straight up so that you're not unbalanced. Beautiful. Sit and up. You're going to squeeze the butt cheeks on the way up. Inhale, exhale. Nice. So every time you come up, try to concentrate on pushing those shoulder blades together. So that way you sit up a little taller, the, the rib cage lifts up a bit. You got it. For four, come on, you're almost there. Squeeze it up, come on, you got it. Beautiful. I see you're committing to it on the top, you squeeze those legs together, beautiful. You got four more, come on, three more, two more, and you're gonna hold it down. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, break. Switch it. Nice job. All right. So you're going to take the toes forward again. And this time you're just going to squat low, not engaging the arms at all, but you're going to keep them on your waist. You're not going to push with your neck. You're going to sit straight back. And it's a halfway squat. And it's all engaging in the hips. So this is basic. You can go slow. You can go fast. I'll go at your pace. Halfway, squeeze the hips to the front. Squeeze, squeeze on the way up. Squeeze the hips forward. So rock the hips forward. Rock the hips forward, good. Engage the core at the same time, come on. You got it, come on. You're almost there. Stay with it for four, for three, for two, for one, and break. So everybody kind of hates these, right? We're going to do a half a burpee. So this is where 
you're here. This is where we're gonna start. And the reason we're starting here is because when you go to engage to the floor, you still got it. Ready? So you only have 10. Ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, straight up, six, five, reach, four, three, two, one, marvelous. This is the way you break down the burpees, so if you need to come up, you're here. You walk it out and walk it up. Go in, we've got 10. So are you gonna walk it out or are you gonna do both legs? Whatever happens, happens. All right, let's go. I will do the opposite of what she does. Ready, go. Nice. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can, not as wide. Come on. Try to get those legs closer together. That's the joke. Yes, perfect. You got three more. Walk it up, don't quit. You got it, two more. Two more jumps, come on. You got it. Last one. Uh-uh, you gotta finish your girlfriend. And we're gonna stay right here. So we're gonna stay kneeling on the floor because we're gonna do a mountain climber. So there's a couple different ways to do it. We're gonna practice here first. Arms are straight, legs are straight in the back. A slow, wide climber. You're lifting the foot, trying to put your foot flat here, taking it back fat here. Now, if we start with a tap, that's perfectly fine. So let's do it. Let me see it. Ooh. Try to get that butt down. Full plank. There we go. Perfect. So try to rest it on your toe until you can get it high enough. Yes. Don't push forward. All you're doing is tapping. Good. She's got it. Come on. You're almost there. You're halfway there. Come on. Come on. You got it. You can always elevate yourself. Start on a stair. You've got three more. You can do it however way you can. You can start on a chair. Come on. Last one. Finish it. Up and over. One more on that side. And break. Yes. So she's getting it done. So there's really no excuses for you not to get it done. We keep it in 10 increments so that you stay focused on those 10 and then you keep it moving. All right, so we're gonna add a little more. So I'll do it from here, from the side. Instead of coming out wide, they're gonna come straight to the middle. These are a little easier, except when you start to pick up speed. So you need to go at your own pace, right to left is one. I need 10. We're focusing on the number 10. Body straight up, you're trying to get that butt down. Knee engages, good. Try to keep the foot off the floor, good. If you need to put the foot on the floor, that's perfectly fine. Good. Good, you got one more, you're halfway there. Come on, come on, come on. You got it. Three more. Almost there, she's breathing hard, we like it too. Last one, and break. So, she's getting it done. What's your excuse? I don't know. I don't know. So, she's not gonna wanna listen to this, but this cue is for a tuck. So here, you can either come in, a basic tuck would be here, to where you can. Full tuck is all the way in. When you start these, you can come in and out. You can come in halfway. Really, you gauge it to what your level is. So we're gonna see what her level is and play with that. Come on. 10. Basics in 10, I love it. Good. Two. She's not giving up. Three. Four. Five, and I bet you for the last five she can get a little bit deeper. Four more. Yes. Ooh, three. Yes. Two. Last one, break. Is she getting it done? Oh my God, yes she is. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so if I said we had to do it all over, she would be really mad at me. So I'm not gonna do that. But, full body. We're gonna hold from here. 
in full body plank. That means that the body is like so. You can do it from your elbows, but your body should be nice and even, and you're not in a downward dog, which is all the way up here. You're fully straight. So we're gonna hold that. And we're gonna time her, see how long she can hold it for. Ready? Hold on, I need my stopwatch. Oh, here we go, let's see. Timer, got it. Or maybe I'll just count. Ready? Elbows or hands, either one. Ready? Go! You got it. Come on, come on, you're almost there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I actually put, I actually put second, oh no, we're not gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna put 30 seconds on my clock and you can do it. I'll get you through even if I have to push you back up. Let's go, come on. Ready, go. Beautiful. Now. Tuck in the core, squeeze. Make sure that you're breathing. Don't lower, don't lower, don't lower. Stay strong, stay strong. You're already halfway there. Come on, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up. Squeeze the body, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the shoulders. She's working, you've got nine seconds. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Five seconds, and she's getting it done, and she's getting it done, and break. That goes to show you what determination looks like. We'll be right back for upper body. All right, now we're going right into upper body. So upper body usually requires a lot, a lot of strength. She's gonna be starting on her knees. I'll show you what a full push-up look like. So we're straight here. And you're engaging the body all the way. There's a lot of different kinds of push-ups. That's just a normal push-up. For her, she's gonna take it onto her knees so that we can show you what a basic push-up and how a starter push-up really, really looks like. So she's gonna push her upper body forward. And again, it's always like I like to say, hang your hips to the floor before you even move. If you have trouble doing that, then you probably should stay right there. As long as the elbow gets a little bit of bend, we're good. So she's gonna bend with an inhale and then exhale, push up and lock the elbows. Ready? Go. Inhale. Inhale, lock the elbows. Good. Yes. And when she's comfortable, she can go a little deeper, or if not, she can stay right there. As long as those elbows are moving, she's doing just fine. You've got to be satisfied with what you can do versus what you can't do. So here we go. And you got four more. Stay with me. Three more. You got it. Two more. Last one. One more and shake it off. Good job. How did those feel? Good. So again, when you engage that core, you're doing that. Can we try one full push-up? All right. So she's gonna get on her toes and she's gonna try. Even if those elbows break the plane just a little bit, we got ourselves a start. Ready? Okay. Up on your toes. You got it. And engage. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna do one more. Ready? Up. Remember to lock the elbows from the top, go. Inhale, exhale, lock, beautiful. She did it. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, so we're gonna take that up a little bit more and we're just gonna hold halfway. This is to build strength where most women have an issue, unless you train for it, right in the inside, right? So we're gonna take it so that she's on her knees and we're gonna get a little bit wider and you're just gonna hold halfway. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. This is how you can build up the basic strength to do a full push-up, ready? Inhale, exhale, halfway down, good. Hips, lock them forward first. Here, we'll start again. Lock the hips forward first. Lock them forward. Now, halfway. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Don't hang your head down, it makes your body heavier. 5, 4, 3, two, and break. Good job. So again, you can start that. You can do it on a chair. You can do it any which way you want. We only have time for a basic crunch, so she's gonna flip around. And she's gonna just come up halfway. We're just gonna give her a basic crunch. Now, she has a medical condition, which plenty of people have, and 
So she's not gonna come up all the way, so we've always gotta respect that medical condition, all right? Or what your parameters are versus what you think in your head. So she's gonna come up and she's gonna crunch it. Inhale and exhale. Exhale on the way up. I need to feel that breath. Good, up, good. Nice, she's taking it nice and easy and I can feel her obliques working severely, like massively. She's going nice at her own pace, not worrying about any old thing. Ready, come on, you got it. Inhale, exhale, beautiful. She can take an extra squeeze to the floor and open the arms up and then bring them back up. So again, the breath controls the sit up. Breath controls the push up, the crunches, it controls everything, even the squat. So if you got your breathing right, you got everything right. And yes, I'm talking a lot today. Inhale and exhale. Come on. You got five more. Stay with me. Four. She's doing great. And I hope you are at home too. Two. She's going to hold it up. Ten, nine, eight. She's going to hold it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Break. We're just going to come back to show you some basic stretches and breathing techniques. All right, so we're just gonna do some basic stretching and basic breathing techniques. So right from here, I'd like you to close your eyes just for a second. She's got her eyes closed already. And basically what we're gonna do is take the inhale up for four seconds and the exhale down for four seconds. So here we go. Inhale. And exhale. She'll just get a little deeper, inhale and release the shoulders, exhale. You can continue doing that for a couple minutes and then get yourself really, really relaxed. So what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna take that left leg back, gonna bring that right arm down so that I can hold you. You're just gonna stay right here. If this is where it's comfortable for you, that's perfect. Otherwise, you can take it just a little lower to the ground. Try to stay in front versus on the side. That's a different stretch. So try to stay in the front. Inhale and exhale the same. Four seconds and four seconds. Beautiful. And you're gonna walk the hands back up. I'm gonna bring that leg around and we're gonna do the breathing again. Inhale. And exhale. Dropping the shoulders, inhale. All the way up to the ceiling, engaging the rib cage, lifting it up, and then exhaling, pushing it back down. Beautiful. You're doing amazing. We're gonna go to the other side. You're gonna take that left leg in front and the right one in back. Nice and easy, arm is strong on the side. And again, when you're ready, you're gonna take it down to the center. And remember that this stretch engages your glutes and it really opens your lower body up. If you continue to breathe, it opens up that rib cage and then relaxes the back, can relax the mind and body. Keep engaging that rib cage and breathing for four and exhaling for four and then bringing the body back up. Nice job. You're gonna take the arms right underneath. You're gonna latch the fingers, interlace them and bring that body straight back so shoulders are gonna be up Engaging again the rib cage and continue to breathe. Inhale and exhale. Continue breathing on your own and we'll be right back. Hi all and here's our spotlight for the week. I am here with the amazing Genevieve Diaz Radomski. I said it right? Radomski. Yes. So her business is called Bite by Eve and she's going to tell us what that's all about. I'm trying to incorporate healthy Latin cooking because Ooh. I've been in the medical field for so long. Um, I've seen the damage that it, food itself can do to our bodies. Oh, that is so true. I didn't know that we can put Latin cuisine and healthy eating in the same sentence, but we definitely can, right? For sure. Okay, so we're gonna be looking to you to show us that stuff. And you know, I hear that you have great things on the horizon. So we'll be following you and all her contact information will be in my uh, production line or producers, like what do you, whatever you call it, whatever my producer puts on there. He's gonna put her information on there so you can grab her. She's gonna be doing meal prep and all kinds of good stuff. So we're just happy from our tribe to yours. Namaste, thank you. Namaste, thank you. Thank you.